Hey guys, thanks for watching. First thing is to power the plug, wait for the AP to start. Then select Sonoff off with a number behind. Wait a few seconds for it to connect. And then once a pop-up appear, scan for Wi-Fi networks. Click on it. And your home Wi-Fi should appear in a selection list. Click on your own Wi-Fi. It's important that you check this box here so that you can see what you physically enter into. Make sure this is correct, otherwise there's no way for the plug to connect to your Wi-Fi. Check it. If it's correct, click on save. And for whatever reason, a pop-up doesn't appear, you can manually key in, in your browser address bar. 192.168.4.1 and the same dialog box should appear and you can configure your Wi-Fi here. Once it's connected, go to your router address, usually the NAS number of your IP range, uh, which is 254. So key in 192.168.1 or 0 0.254 and you scroll down all the way to the bottom. You will see the uh, Sonoff switch, uh, select and copy and paste the address in IP address into the address bar. When you see this, uh, you click on firmware upgrade. Now the firmware we use to flash is a minimum firmware, so you need to come here and get yourself the full version of the firmware. So start the upgrade, wait a few minutes, and when the plug restarts, it will connect back and you can config the rest of the items. Now once it's restarted, uh, click on configuration and configure the template. Now this step is important too. If you don't do this, your plug will not work. Uh, remember to change it based on to Bliss Wolf SHP45 and also change the GPIO to number 2 to LED2I57. Click on save. Wait a few seconds for the plug to connect back and then uh, configure module. Do the same thing. Select uh, Bliss Wolf SHP45 from the drop down list. Once you are done, click save. Again, wait for a few seconds for the plug to restart. And then you click on Configure MQTT. Now, uh, the host and the port is usually the, the server of your uh, MQTT. So it's either your home assistant or the home IP. The port is always the same, 1883. The username of your MQTT server and the password of your MQTT server. Now, the topic is important that you give it a unique name. Uh, don't repeat with the plug. All plugs have to be independent, have to be individual. Click save, wait a few seconds for it to restart. And then uh, the last bit, click uh, configure others. This is the friendly name. It doesn't really matter what name you give it. If it's connected to a fan, give it a fan. I can key in fan or TV or fridge or whatsoever. Now, once that's done, uh, you're pretty much it. You have configured your plug. Congratulations and thanks for watching.